Looks like we're going to be getting straight into this. Alright, jump into this game at uh, Omega Windy Hill Zone. G-Man likes getting the home field advantage. Oh, I switched again. I wanted to see G-Man against Lindy Kong. Mickey's brother got the fist was the only other player we really had around here. And post-patch, now that Memphis has dropped him. He switched off Diddy to Sheik. Yep. If, <laughs> if you play Diddy pre-patch and you switch to Sheik post-patch, you know who you are and you know what you've done. Alright. Well, yeah, getting some solid damage at the moment. Just down throws and dash attacks and just rolling all over the place. Of course, Diddy's been doing a good job getting the damage on too. Oh! There's... How the fuck flip with an up smash? Yeah. Oh, that down smat, that down air, uh, just mid footsies. Got that active banana. It's gonna disappear upon hitting the ground. The banana can only land on the ground once after having been dropped initially. Wheel of shorts. A Diddy up throw? I'm not even sure I knew what the animation looks like for that. Do anyone, does anyone ever do anything other than down throw with Diddy? Uh, I don't know. Pretty yeah. much. Uh, up throw, up air was an actual, like, undiable kill setup. It just, no one around here ever bothered actually learning, because oh, why do that when you can just down throw it? Yeah. Makes sense. And that would be a kill? Yeah. It's not that landing. The first stop, it was a pretty unsafe landing by Papa Pinky. Looks like uh, Pinky does not have the strong custom rocket barrel pack, so I feel like he's going to have some pretty massive problems actually getting the stock off. <laughs> Even if he did, Sonic's really hard to catch, and G-Man's not the kind of person who applies unsafe pressure. I don't know, I feel like he does, he just does it pretty well. Like, you can never quite tell what he's going to do. Alright, yeah. Well, Sonic's a hard character to catch anyways. Yeah. Oh, no. And oh. to hair dodge the up air. Not yeah, quite that true combo. With the side B. <laughs> that must have been the down B. From Sonic. Looks almost the same, but not really. Yeah. Nice fair. Yeah. Ooh. Turns it around on him on the way down with that up air. So Ooh. Had to get him up to like 160 percent there for that, but that percent even Diddy's new up air would kill. Yeah. I'm pretty sure his new up air kills before that. It was a pretty stage level up air though. Oh, that back air just. Right. So with that, G-Man gets the JV2. Yeah, he does. He uh, did a good job calling out those monkey flips throughout the set. I feel like. Definitely. Or the game, I mean. <laughs> I'm guessing no character switches. That's my guess. Well, I guess really wrong. Wow, I was so wrong, it isn't even funny. Good thing I didn't bet money on their, on their characters. <laughs> I'm honestly kind of surprised that G-Man did, but and I guess he wants to stomp. It's fun. He wants to make sure that this Roy isn't anyone's boy. <laughs> New Roy hype. Old yeah. Roy hype, actually. Roy you? <laughs> if oh, that stomp, I know. <laughs> it would have been like, okay, G-Man, calm, calm down. down. <laughs> he has a family. <laughs> G-Man's doing pretty well here. I feel like... He's just going for the stomp because it's getting him punished. But honestly, Ooh. one of those things where if he lands at once. There we go. <laughs> Picks up for it completely. So, one of the things I always feel about the Koopalings is that they actually remind me more of Sonic of any character other than Sonic. Because of the way their side B functions. Yeah, that and then the up B too. Yeah, they, they literally oh. rush down your shield and then. Oh my god. Okay, G Man dominated that game. There's just nothing we can say about it other yeah, than that. that. That is just what happened. That was just like the King of Darkness was like, <laughs> the King of Darkness was like, you should wear sunglasses, Roy. Go Ganon to style, and he did what he set out to do. Yeah. Well, 